Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Uh, today's video is going to be a video about habits that will change your life. These are habits that I have been following for a while and are habits that have really changed the way I live my day-to-day -day life. You know, habits in order to make you more successful, habits you should do if you just want to be more productive and happy and organized and just feel on track with your life and kind of like you're not taking a step back, you're actually moving forward. So yeah, let's just jump right into the video. So the first habit that I started doing, and it's not something that I do every day, it depends, it's to wake up early um, or earlier than normal. Like I know a lot of people are forced to wake up anyways because they have a job where they go to school and they have classes in the morning, but wake up even earlier than what you're supposed to. And usually if I wake up earlier than I'm supposed to and I'll get like one or two things done before I have to go in to my classes, I will feel better. It would kind of, like, it sets the tone for the rest of my day. It makes, it makes me look forward to the rest of my, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but it's like I wake up earlier and I get things done and I kind of get me in that move of, like, let's get things going and that way it, like, hypes me up for the rest of the day and I'm ready to go. And that's kind of how I do my day-to-day -day things. I mean, I don't always wake up early. I do love to sleep in here and there, and I've, I'm have i going to take it. But Monday to Friday, when I do have to get to school or have homework, I will wake up early and do some stuff beforehand. So I urge you to at least try it because it, it has really good benefits. So, yeah. I also... Like, a, a few tips that I can give you is I do not allow snooze on my alarm. Because if I do that, I know I'll just keep snoozing it over and over and over again until, like, there's no end to it and I just fall asleep. And it won't, it won't work. I also put my phone really loud so I can hear the alarm really loud. Or I'll put my phone on my desk and I'm in bed so that way I have to actually get up to stop my alarm. Um, anything that will get me out of bed. Because as soon as I get out of bed... I kind of wake myself up and I don't want to lay back down. Moving on to tip number two or habit number two is kind of a follow-up from um, waking up early is to try and meditate or do some yoga or some sort of exercise in the morning, kind of get your body going, get it energized, get it up and going and kind of not let it slack. Uh, and I notice that as soon as I wake up and I'll go to the bathroom and then I come to my room and I'll like do a little 20 minute workout or I'll sit down and I'll put some relaxing music and I'll meditate. It really, really gets my body to wake up naturally and I'm, it's not like I'm forcing it to just stay awake and I'm dreading waking up and things like that. No way. It's like I do it and it's like my body just knows it's time to wake up and it's like it's, it's so relaxing. It's so rejuvenating to kind of get your body just pumped for the day and believe me your body knows what's it doing as soon as you do a little workout or as soon as you do a little meditation session or yoga your body is kind of like okay like let's let's get it let's get it and let's go for it and you you will feel it you will feel more energized you will feel like you're going to be on track for the rest of the day so tip number three or habit number three would be to meal prep um, and not only does meal prep work for people who are trying to be healthy, but it also works for just people who are on a rush all the time or they want to save time and also money. So, and by money, I mean like you're not going to go out to order food or you come back home from work or a long day at school and you're going to be like, I don't feel like cooking. I'm going to order a pizza or whatever else you want to order. No, instead that way you have like a little meal prep, prep container in the fridge. You take it out, microwave it and you go and sit down and eat. This meal prep thing was a hard for me to, thing to do and it still is to this day because I really, I have like this like thing with leftover food that I don't know why I can't eat it. There's only certain things that I like to eat if they're leftover. 
So I try to like meal prep things that I really enjoy to eat if they're like left in the fridge for like a day or two and you know it doesn't bother me. But no this meal prep thing might not work for everybody but it's something that really helped me in saving up time especially while I'm at school. And you know with me trying to lose weight and changing up my life and also being in school it's kind of hard to keep in track with cooking and eating healthy so that way so that way I meal prep and I put them in the fridge and I am ready to go and I will continue eating healthy because I have that ready to go in the fridge and I'm not worried about having to cook or things like that so the next habit so this would be habit, num habit number four is to read more often and I am not a reader and I've never been a fan of reading but I started to read the things in the books that I liked um, and I still don't do it often but reading whatever floats your boat read whatever you like whatever gets you going whatever gets you to enjoy sitting down and reading a book you know um, reading even like a chapter a day or like a few pages a day you know expands your knowledge and your vocabulary it keeps your brain working it's like an exercise for your brain it's like it keeps your brain going it doesn't slow it down you know especially when you're if you're a university student and you need to read a lot for your courses and a lot of articles reading extra books and things like that would be very very beneficial so I started doing that and I'm trying to get through my collection because I have a decent collection of books that I always said like you know I'm gonna read and I always ask for books for Christmas and holidays and things like that and birthdays and I never end up reading them because I get distracted with my schoolwork, but I always make some time for just reading a regular book outside of what I do for school and it really, really helps me. It improved my essay writing skills, it improved the way I talk and the way I listen to other people talk and I know a lot more words than I used to. So definitely keep in mind that and try to read more books because it's very, very beneficial for your day-to-day -day life. Habit number five would be to have a you day in a way just like a me day uh, a day where you relax a day where you pamper yourself where you know you take yourself to the spa you know you get your nails done a day where you know even you sit at home and you clean or you meal prep or you watch tv shows or you just go out with your friends or just a day that helps you keep yourself motivated it can't it keeps you yourself sane in a way because if you never have a day for yourself if you never have a day where you can just go in the bath and take a nice long hot bath or a nice long shower or a day where you can just sit in bed and watch tv believe me your brain will like lose it uh, and i've tried it and so i always have a day or two a week where i dedicate to myself a day where i you know i just don't look on my laptop in the sense of like homework wise I, I either read or I meditate a lot or I take a bath or I do my nails or I watch TV or whatever and it really helps me stay focused throughout the rest of the week so I usually do it on the weekend so Saturday or Sunday I take a date to pamper myself so I'll give myself facials and I'll do my makeup and I'll take a nice bath or I'll do my laundry I'll meal prep I'll just basically have myself a little treat day you know I treat myself to things that I don't usually do uh, throughout the week so very beneficial having a you day is extremely extremely crucial because it will just set the tone for the rest of your week it'll keep you motivated and it's like you have something to look forward towards the end of the week because I always look forward to the end of the week for me because I look forward to my me day the day where I get to do whatever and just enjoy myself you know now on to habit number seven I believe it's to get more fresh air and uh, I cannot stress how important this one is because I was the biggest introvert and I still am an introvert and I, I think I'm a bit of both you know an ambivert but um I would there there were days where I like I was thinking to myself like damn I haven't been outside in four days and that was like back in the f first few years of university where I had so much homework and I had so much schoolwork that I would just sit there and I'm like wow it's this is day four that I haven't even like opened my freaking window 
so every day no matter what i have to do i will go and sit outside on the front steps of my house and just kind of breathe in for like five minutes the fresh air and kind of like take it in because you know sitting in your house and not getting that fresh air that smell of fresh air that like freshness on your body if i'm making any freaking sense it's so bad for you and your metabolism and your body and your health and and just your day-to-day -day life it's just so important to go outside and get a little bit of sunshine and i know like i live in canada and winters can be brutal and really cold and i know a lot of people live in cold areas and they don't get the opportunity to live in like a hot place but even then put a little scarf and a thick sweater and just step outside for like five minutes and if you're too cold go inside go outside again but make sure you do take the time to spend outside um, and take in some fresh air at least open your window if you can't go out that day if you're not feeling well open your window and sit by the window and take in the deep fresh air the beautiful fresh air and i'm so cliche cliche it's not even funny but legit it's so important and i've had so many people tell me this and so many doctors stress you diana you have to be go outside you have to exercise more often you have to you know but you have no idea how important fresh air is going outside i can't stress it enough but yes fresh air it's important so those were basically my six habits. I think there were six habits that I, I talked about that have really shaped my life and have really, really helped in getting my body into a rhythm, getting myself into a rhythm. It kind of made me have a routine. And by having a routine, it made my life so much simpler because... I look forward to waking up in the morning, you know, because I have a routine. I look forward to because, you know, I get to meditate, I get to shower, and I get to get ready for the day. You know, I look forward to spending my me day on the weekend and to, you know, get in touch with myself and kind of ground myself and tell me it's okay to take the day off and to relax. And I created this environment for myself in which I feel at ease and positive and i'm still working to improve my routine and to figure out more habits that are beneficial for myself and that's just what i do for now but i will hopefully maybe make a updated video on this a little while later when i've kind of developed more habits that i cater to and i do every day but these are the habits that I do for now. There is a quote that I had to go and find that my mom shared with me. And I don't know who wrote the quote, but it goes, Your diet is not only what you eat. It is what you watch, what you listen to, what you read, the people you hang around. Be mindful of the things you put into your body emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And I really thought that that quote was so well said because, you know, a lot of people focus on their diet and changing their life on just the way they eat. But it's also the things you do on your day-to-day -day life. It's the routines you create. It's the people you surround yourself with. So that's why I say create some healthy habits for yourself. Create some routines for your day-to-day -day life and stick with them because they will definitely change your life and the way you the way you look at life your outlook on life so that is basically it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when i do post new videos but i will see you guys next time bye